Horse owners around the state are taking precautions against an outbreak of neurologic equine herpes virus. My particular understanding of exactly how it progresses, it, you know, I don't really know the technicalities there. Um, but, you know, the rhinovirus, you're just going to see it, you know, and it kind of exhibits itself a little bit like a cold when it starts, and that's why people start getting worried when their horse just starts getting a cold. In Norco, horse owners were having their animals vaccinated. Typically right now, it's usually more like us during the winter and season changes and that sort of thing when horses start to get sick. But as far as those horses, I don't know what the progression is. A horse jumping show at Galway Downs in Temecula was canceled after a number of horse owners backed out in the midst of an outbreak. If they do have EHV-1, it's very, what I've heard, it's very short as far as when they, if they're going to have the neuro version, it doesn't take long for them to exhibit really extreme signs and they lose, they have loss of balance and they can't use their muscles as well and they have loss of back end. You have horses that they have to struggle or they can't get up off the ground if they lay down. Um, that's what you'll see as kind of the, aside from the testing, blood testing is the only positive way to confirm it. As of mid-Friday, at least 13 cases have been confirmed in California. One case was in Los Angeles County, the others in a northern and central part of the state. One horse in Kern County was euthanized. Officials in Riverside and San Bernardino counties said they had seen no cases of the virus as of Friday afternoon. For the Press Enterprise and PE.com, this is Angel Ortiz.